Have you ever wondered what your photographs might sound like? I wonder what that would sound like. Maybe you're interested in seeing what a particular sound looks like. I wonder what that looks like. Stay tuned. This tutorial shows you how to hear images, see sound, and then manipulate them. The results are not what you'd expect. Hearing images and seeing sound are achieved using two excellent programs, Adobe Edition and Photoshop. First, we'll listen to some images. Here's how. Open the image you want to hear in Adobe Photoshop. I've added some black to either end so the image keeps its shape in Audition. It's important to save the image as a 24-bit bitmap file. Now, open the bitmap in Adobe Audition. Choose File, Import Bitmap, and locate the bitmap you just saved in Photoshop. Because of the details in the image, I've chosen black as the color of silence, or zero decibels. The white value requires some fiddling, as does the gamma value. Forty-four thousand one hundred is CD quality. Stereo and sixteen-bit are appropriate settings. Change from the typical edit view to the spectral graph view. The horizontal axis still measures time as it does in the edit view. In spectral view, the vertical axis measures frequency rather than decibels. Listen to this image. Now it's the high pitch that sets the peaks, and lower pitches set the valleys. Dark blue are the lowest decibel, softest sounds, and bright yellow are the highest decibel, loudest sounds. There are more ways to manipulate sounds in the spectral controls window, but I'll save that for another episode. In Adobe Audition, open the file of a sound you'd like to see. I have chosen a short Def Leppard clip. To see what it looks like, we save it as a bitmap file. Now, open Adobe Photoshop. Choose the bitmap file you would like to see. 
This probably isn't what you were expecting. Notice how different the voice at the start is from the rest. <laughs> 